This video is brought to you by Greater Commons. Greater learning, greater opportunities, greater life. Visit us at greatercommons.com. Looked at a serve file and how to serve a file. And we're working out of a GitHub code on a username goes to lab and the repo golang web dev. In case you're watching this online, you can find YouTube channel Todd McLeod, YouTube Todd McLeod to see more videos. And uh, down here we have serve file, 02303 serve file. And then we have a uh, file server. And file server has a couple of steps in it. And file server is going to take you a little time to uh, wrap your head around. And so uh, here this is easy, right? HTTP file server. And file server takes in just a file system. And a file system is an interface that just has a method so okay opens up a name file system implements access to a collection of named files the elements in a file path are separated by slash characters regardless of the host operating system convention so it just opens up some file gives you a file and an error right and files an interface down here with all that so it gets kind of complicated in there but you know basically it's just saying hey give me a directory file server file server wants a file system and here we're using HTTP dir and dir is a string and it has this open method which means that file server right since file system wants something with the open method I'm kind of bouncing there a little bit that all works so basically file server and serve this directory and that and that that's the current directory the period is the current directory okay so file server and serve the current directory. So this works. And if we go like this, and CD just go back up the tree here, ways. And then CD into 023, 02, 04. I love how cold it is tonight. It feels nice. So refreshing. Right? So there it served up the whole route. So I could click on Toby and it serves Toby. That's cool. But if I click on main.go, it served up that file, <laughs> which is the code. Right? Because those are the two files. Those are the two files in the directory, Toby and main. And I said, serve this current directory. So it said, here it is. There are those two files. And I clicked on them and it you know, showed me what their contents were, including that. And if I go to dog, that, that would serve, dog would do this, right? Because it serves everything. So that's kind of fun. So we need it to do it slightly different. So I could do a folder like assets or public. And then inside assets or public, I could put my image. And I could say serve everything in that folder, right? And leave this folder with my code. Don't be serving that. You know, but to do that, you got to do something a little bit tricky. So we're still using file server and we're still using HTTP dir, but now we're saying, you know, serve everything from my where I'm currently at. So I'm currently at right there, right? That's where I'm currently at. Go into the assets folder, right? And we're going to serve everything in assets. Correct? So that makes sense. No problem on that, right? 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 Yeah, your answer needs to be right. <laughs> you don't have a choice on that one. But then, but then there's a strip prefix. What's strip prefix about? Well, we're stripping off apparently resources, right? So strip prefix, you know, takes in what you're going to strip off of the route, and it and it takes in a handler, and then it returns a handler. Let me turn off my little Slack deal because that's kind of blown up a little bit. And so look at the code here. The code here is saying, hey, give me an image inside the folder resources. Whoa. So when this runs from the browser, the browser is going to say, hey, give me what's in resources. Cool, I got a route resources. Handle, handle that request to that route resources. Right? And so what it's going to do to handle that 
and it's everything resources on down the line, right? It's going to strip off from that request route. It's going to strip off resources. So it strips this off. And then it's going to serve everything from inside. Sorry, it strips this off, right? From that's the request that came in. It strips off that. You see how that's the exact same deal? You see that? And so when I strip that off, what is left? Slash Toby. And where does it serve it from? Which folder does it find it in? What folder does file server find slash Toby in? Assets! So it's a little bit wonky. And it gets even wonkier because when you see this code in the wild, it looks like this. And you're like, what the WTF is going on there? You know, assets, handle assets, strip assets, serve it from assets. But when I do it like this, okay, the web browser says, give me the file at this route. Cool. Handle says, I handle that route. Cool. Strip prefix says, I strip off resources. Cool. That got stripped off. And then file server says, we're serving everything inside file, inside assets, right? And what do you need? You need forward slash Toby. I'm going to let you work that one when you go home <laughs> on your own. First, I need to give you some homework for the night. Let me say this last thing here. You could also just have assets and inside assets. You could do CSS and images, and then you could map a path to that. That's just SVG. That's nothing to freak out about. The computer creates that. And so, uh, well, that's a static site, so that's slightly different. But this is what you'll be able to do after you take my HTML course. Let's run that just so you can see it. I'm not in the right file apparently. Control C. Static. Go run main.go. Let's ls that. Go run main.go. Oh, I just want to do this. We're serving a stack site. There we go. Nice. <coughs> All right, so I'll let you work with that code. Let's give you some homework, and uh, we'll get back together for more fun next week.